Welcome back guys to another episode of Grizzly TV. Today we're gonna be talking about something super cool that's actually a bit old now. In my prior videos, you might have noticed I had something on the hood of my car. That was called the Autobron Hood Bra. And it was given to me by a subscriber and now friend, Sean Foray. You may or may not have heard what happened with the hood bra and my forge blow off valve. If you haven't, check out the video. In short, what pretty much happened was that I had installed the hood bra on there and since I have an APR intake, it gets the air directly from the grill. And there are claims that these Autobron hood bras have been blocking the airflow from the grill into the intake and bad stuff happening with APR intakes and hood bras. So if you have an APR intake and you're looking into a hood bra, don't do it. I don't recommend it. Luckily, it didn't damage my intake. It only blew up my forage blow off valve. So yeah, out of one of those, but Thankfully, I was able to pick up another blow-off valve, which is the HKS Spulen blow-off valve from USP Motorsports. So look forward to that in the next couple of days, guys. It is coming very soon. And I'm excited because it's gonna be awesome. Which, yeah, it's pretty cool because it has the whole, like, turbo charge pipe kind of thing, like the, uh, you know, the tubing and the engine bay, and yeah, you know what I mean. But it's gonna be super cool. So that'll give you a little more airflow in there and also kind of mesh with the things I've gotten as well as some cool stuff I got from Integrated Engineering, which I'll be showing you guys in a little bit. Uh, back to the hood bra, um, pretty much I'm gonna take you back in time a bit to about a week or so before Christmas, which is when I initially installed the hood bra on the GTI. Now for some reason, um, my footage just didn't come out great, so it's very select. I have like the unboxing and things of that sort. So I'll show you the unboxing, the installation, which was really me just putting it on the hood and then closing the hood. It's pretty simple, not really that hard. Um, it doesn't come with instructions because I guess they figured it was too simple to waste money on the paper. So not really an install video, but it is a video reviewing it. So without further ado, let's take you back in time. Hey, Albus. Hey, Bubby. Hey, how are you doing? How are you doing? Give me, oh, come here. Come here. Oh, rude. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Grizzly Gearhead. Now, I know you guys have been waiting for the review of the exhaust, but it's been raining outside pretty bad. It's just all wet, and I just don't really feel like going outside and doing that in the rain, getting my camera wet, etc., etc. But stay tuned. It will be coming soon. In the meantime, a huge shout out to my friend Sean Foray, who is a subscriber, and he sent me something awesome in the mail. Call it an early Christmas present, but it's from a company called Autobron, and it's a bra for the Mark 7 GTI to keep the front protected on long road trips and things of the like. So, without further ado, thank you, Sean, for this product. Let's check it out. All right, guys, here we have the Auto Braun box that I got in the mail from Sean. Thank you again, Sean, for that awesome product. I am going to be doing this video pretty quick, guys, one-handed. I don't have any camera equipment with me. I'm at home. So I'm just going to use my run-of-the-mill box opener, open this thing up, and then we'll check it out. Voila, check that out. It's like a diamond stitching kind of look to it. A little dusty. looks like there's some... Uh, Rocks? Like pebbles or something? I don't know. Interesting. But it looks pretty awesome. It feels nice. It, it feels like almost real. Like I don't know if it's real leather or not, but it feels good. Nice back part to it right here. A little padding on there to keep from scratching the vehicle. And these nice little blocks for the front. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, and it also came with some neat little decals from Autobron. Thank you, Otto Braun and Sean. Otto Braun, you're covered. Watch out! There you guys go. That's all the information if you guys need it for Otto Braun. All this information will also be in the description. All right, guys, so we're gonna try and put this Otto Braun uh, bra back on the car now because the rain is starting to uh, give in a little bit. So, gonna see if I can dry it off a little bit and then put this on. I don't know if it has to be dry or not, but. Okay, so I don't have any towels, so we're just gonna put it on wet. Hopefully it doesn't mess it up. But I do need to open the car. Should be wearing shoes, but hey, that gorgeous carbon fiber intake. All right, we'll see how this goes on here. So, I have no idea how this goes on, so we'll figure it out. Yeah, that's 
looks kind of maybe it. Yeah. There we go. I think that's it right there. Aha! So the install is super easy, guys. Just kind of put it on. And yeah, we have spots for that right there. So I'm guessing this stuff. I have no clue. I actually have no idea. You look like Santa with the red and the beard. How do you think this goes on? Oh, maybe these have to connect across the top. All right, let's see if that works. Oh, so you don't have to push that stick thing down? It just goes down with the hood? Yeah. Weird. Okay, so we figured it out, guys. There was four attachment points, pretty much using the uh, existing holes in the car. So we have one right here, down here, and over here. And the same thing on the other side. And then just tighten them down. You kind of have to uh, kind of just work with it and see what you guys can figure it out. Um, but for the most part, it's on. Got the three holes up here for the two grommets and the hood latch. Bring that down and voila. That's pretty much what we have here, folks. There you have it, guys. That is pretty much the bra for the Mark 7 GTI. Um, I didn't put it on the best. Uh, I had no idea how to do it, so I totally just jerry-rigged it. Um, there's probably a video on it. I didn't look it up. I just kind of did it. There's no instructions with it, so I kind of had to figure it out. But thank you very much, Sean, for sending me this. I appreciate it, man. That's like the coolest thing ever for, for one of the viewers to send me something. I just I appreciate that so much, you guys. I thank you so much. And all the guys from Autobron as well for allowing him to send that. I don't, I don't know if he works for them or not, but yeah. It's pretty cool. I like it. Check it out. Need a little bit of fixing here, but get it all sorted out. I like that diamond stitching though. That's that, that's pretty cool. Not too shabby. Okay, now on to my final review of the product. So Upon opening the box and looking at the hood bra, it does seem to be of a very good quality material. I'm not sure if it's actually leather. It seems to be some kind of like pleather knockoff thing going on there. Not really too sure, but it is very nice. It does feel good and it seems to be durable. Now I do like the way that mine have the diamond stitching. You can buy them in different finishes. All in all, it just seems to be a bit much for the price you're paying for it. I didn't pay for mine, but if you were to spend $180 or whatever it's selling for now, it is a bit pricey for something that you would really only use on maybe long trips to, you know, say a, a road trip out of state or something. Other than that, I really wouldn't use this product on the daily. Um, I did have it for a few days to test it out and then YOLO! Unfortunate event happened that caused my blow off valve to explode. So, you know, pros and cons. I'm not the biggest fan of the way cars look with bras on them. Some pull it off, some don't. The GTI is kind of a, a toss up. From some angles, it looks good. From others, meh. But it just depends on your taste. That's up to you completely. But if you're looking for something to protect your car, I do believe it would from paint chips and things coming up from off the road. But from what I've heard from many viewers, a hood bra actually isn't the best thing for your paint. I guess over time, things can accumulate under the hood bra, dust, particles, rocks even, and actually tends to scratch the paint over time instead of protecting it. So that can be a drawback to having a hood bra. So for me, in my personal opinion, I'm gonna have to go ahead and give it a kind of middle-ish to thumbs down because it blew up my diverter, or blew up my blow off valves. Would I buy one? No, unfortunately not. But I do appreciate you, Sean, for giving me that and let me experience it and find out pretty much the hard way so that you guys don't have to. So that's a good thing in a way. I like to look at the, thing, the positive things in life. So this way I went through it so you guys don't have to. If you have an APR intake or some kind of intake that takes its flow directly from the grill or that has a kind of just connected airflow, if you have like maybe like a IE integrated engineering intake or the CTS turbo intake, things of the sort that really aren't directly connected to the very front of your hood or the grill, you should be fine. I still wouldn't recommend it, 
but it should not have the same issue or effect. YOLO! Honestly guys, if it was up to me, I wouldn't run a hood bra. I wouldn't like anything blocking my grill because that's where most of the airflow comes from and that can be detrimental to your intake, blow off valve, diverter valve, turbo, etc. So, eh. But if you guys do want the Autobron hood bra, let me know because I'm giving mine away. If you guys want to hit me up on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you guys want to contact me on, go for it. Um, first one to contact me gets it. The only difference this time, guys, is that I really have no money right now. So all I ask is that you pay for shipping. That's it. That's it. All right. So if you want it, go for it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you appreciate the review. If you do, hit that like button below, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching. Stay boosted, bros. Yalla! Yalla! Yalla!